Hi, I'm Ananda from Level Aviation and we are here at Oshkosh. You might know us from uh, our product, The Bomb. It's a self-contained wireless avionics suite. We did a, a video with you guys uh, last year, or two years ago. And here at the show, we're very excited to introduce a new product. It's a TrimTab Autopilot, and I'll give you a, a quick demo. So we're using basically trim tabs to control the aileron and the elevator. Instead of heavy bulky servos tied to your control uh, lines, we are basically using small RC servos. Here's the actual servo connected to our trim tab. And if you put one on the aileron and one on the elevator with our eye level or our bomb, we can control your surfaces and do a heading hold, an altitude climb, altitude descent, altitude hold. We can use it as a wind leveler and we can basically sit back and relax. Uh, and you can also follow a flight plan if you're, you know, everything, this is everything from your iPad or your iPhone or your Android. You can do a flight plan on an app called iFly GPS and basically we can take you there. So the benefits of this system is that it's lightweight, uh, it's affordable, and it's revolutionary for, for any experimental airplane that wants to install an autopilot. Right now they're kind of a luxury item and we're trying to change that at level. So one of the questions uh, that we get is what about interference? Because people hear me say wireless autopilot. And so basically I'm showing here three different installations. It's actually a wire solution. So this is uh, the servo requires uh, five volts and then your signal and then ground and this will be connected to our eye level like you see here we have a wiring harness so everything comes to the bb15 in here and then one for the elevator and one for the aileron you can do this is our peel and stick solution so basically uh, just uh, glue this here you can do a remote servo installation to balance your aileron a little bit better you can do a peel and stick solution where you have the servo right in here, but then you have to balance your aileron. Um, and this is a, a work in progress. It would be the wireless, true wireless autopilot, where we're using the similar concept as the bomb to provide the power to the servo. And what we're showing here is a flush mount solution. So you can have something like this and the little um, little power generator as well here or a flush mount um, tied to your trim tab. So very different installations depending on what you like and but the idea is that it's super lightweight and super easy to add an autopilot to your existing aircraft. So as far as installation you basically need an eye level AP and this will sit somewhere um, forward to the panel it doesn't really it doesn't have to be center line but it, it does have the ahars it has a magnetometer inside it has the connections to your gps and your adsb so it's not just an autopilot this is a complete glass panel solution it will provide uh, uh, your six pack solution uh broadcast it to an ipad so that's where the wireless uh, comes in and then everything is wired to the servos as far as weight this is less than a pound and the two the two train tabs for the two axis autopilot is less than a pound so there's nothing really that you have to do as far as weight and balance unlike traditional autopilots where you, you know, you're, you're adding a lot of weight uh, with the servos um, so it makes it super, super easy <laughs> for pilots nowadays. So one of the ideas in the future is also to make the bomb compatible with the TripTap Autopilot uh, because it's a perfect platform, it's sitting outside, it's communicating wireless to your iPad, so it can communicate wireless to your uh, Autopilot as well. 
and basically the bomb has everything that the eye level does it um, even has an integrated angle of attack so the idea is that with this app this is our new app called level aviation uh, only for and for apple devices and it is able to work side by side with your navigation apps so for example we're using four flight here and we're running our app uh, on, on the right hand side you can use multi-touch to configure your screen and we can add for example a new view for the autopilot interface let me take this button here um, so here you can do a heading hold and the nice thing about the iPad is that it's it has such a great resolution compared to what's out there and and it's touchscreen and then we can, we can make the numbers big and it's really really nice interface so we have also altitude climb and descent so i'm going to do 5000 feet and then you can also select the speed at which you get there so gonna, we're going to climb at 700 feet per minute and then the autopilot will take you there. Uh, we have waypoint navigation, and that's what I was talking about. Doing a flight land on iFly GPS, and then having the airplane follow that as well. Um, we're gonna be changing the interface a little bit to include a wing leveler and an automatic trim tab. Uh, but yeah, everything is done through the iPad. So the bomb, right now we're connected to the bomb through white, uh, USB because I'm recharging the batteries. The, the wind tunnel is not able to provide enough wind to recharge the batteries. Uh, it will turn on around 40 knots uh, to power itself and then over 60 knots it's going to recharge the batteries and anything after that is uh, heat that we put into the nose to make it a heated pedo system. And uh, one of the good things about the eye level AP is that it's not, like I said, it's not only an autopilot, you have the DB connector to connect to other avionics. So if you want to integrate an engine analyzer, for example, on your iPad, we've created a really nice interface, as I can show you here. Um, so what we're doing is we're streaming the data from an uh, existing engine analyzer from Grand Rapids into the iLevel AP and the iLevel AP sends that data over to your iPad and, and now you know you have everything you need uh, like you can see here we can do split screen have your engine and your primary flight instrumentation on one iPad and then your navigation on the other because the iLevel AP broadcasts to up to six devices simultaneously or if you have a tandem airplane you can have your instrumentation here instrumentation on the back and you don't have to buy a secondary EFIS. It's basically the same data coming from your iLevel AP broadcasted to different uh, devices. So that's it for Level Aviation. You can always go to the website, levelaviation.com. If you have any questions about the new iLevel AP or the bomb or any of our products, please reach out and see you next year. Bye. Bye.